Welcome to Washington Whispers. I'm the editor, Paul Bedard. Well, it's getting pretty hot in Washington, and I'm not just talking about the weather. President Obama is putting his reputation as a great communicator in media, a la JFK and Ronald Reagan, on the line to push health care reform. He says passage is so important that he doesn't care about the political fallout. I do not know how this plays politically, but I know it's right. But everybody on the other side is looking at the political landscape if the Democrats go it alone and pass the unpopular health plan. None more than the Tea Party activists, who are already sizing up their presidential favorites for 2012. Talk to leading organizer, former House Majority Leader Dick Armey, just about that issue. He chairs FreedomWorks and is a key member of the Tea Party movement. So who's he like? Take a listen. I've had my eye on Paletti because Paletti has the, the the opportunity to be a blank slate. Uh, you could take a look at a guy like Haley Barber. Haley Barber is an absolute natural for this movement. And what about someone like Mitch Daniels? Mitch Daniels has a great deal of popularity, and I'm very impressed to see how many times I see his him uh, him mentioned by everybody. Now you notice that he doesn't talk about Sarah Palin, Mitt Romney, or Mike Huckabee. So I asked about them. I think Mitt Romney, Sarah Payne, and Mike Huckabee are all old news. Yeah. I don't think Sarah Palin intends to run for president. And one other thing. Army argues that voters are so angry with the way Washington is handling the big kitchen table issues, like job creation and mounting debt, that even conservatives will look the other way if the Republican nominee isn't perfect on social issues like gay marriage and abortion. He calls it the 80% solution. If the candidate is right on about 80% of the issues, then it's better than an opponent who's wrong on 100% of the issues. Okay, that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. I'm Paul Bedard.